Hi guys, Snow here. Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while since this face has done a video, uh, but it's not it's not the usual sort of fursuit video where I do Q and A's or something like that. No, it is to show off this big pile of DVDs right here with some Blu-rays. You can see them today. Yes, I am doing an updated video of my anime collection. Uh, I first did this video. Uh, a while ago, probably going close to two years ago now, and as you can see, the pile has grown quite a bit. Uh, I've got Blu-rays and DVDs, whereas before I only had DVDs. Um, I'm going to try and make this quick, because I don't know how much memory my phone has at the moment. So I'll try and make this as quick as possible, but it probably won't go that well. So... We shall start with the Blu-rays, since that pile is smaller. Uh, I am going to need to take my hands off for this, because otherwise I'm going to find it hard to pick things up and my hand is going to be covering most of the box. So our hands are coming off. I know, breaking the magic. There we go. So, the Blu-rays. Oh, another thing. They are as in alphabetical order as I could get them from my knowledge of the alphabet but you know it is as soon as you're starting to put things in alphabetical order your brain just goes blank and it just goes blah i don't know the internet anymore i don't know the alphabet anymore see i can't even get the word alphabet right so anyway let's start, let's start with the blu-rays um th this list does also include live action versions of anime so we'll start off with two live actions it is the Attack on Titan movies. These wonderful pieces of crap. They're bad. I, I'd seen them before I bought them, so I knew they were bad, so I just waited for them to be really, really cheap. And they ended up being like £3 each in CEX. CEX is a second-hand um, entertainment place, so it's like DVDs, games... CDs, depending on which one you go to, gaming consoles, gaming accessories, so like controllers, Skylanders, that sort of thing. So it's basically just a second-hand entertainment shop. So yeah, £3 each at CEX, so that's why I bought them. I haven't watched the Blu-rays yet, I watched them online originally. So yeah, so, Attack on Titan live actions. I'm starting piles on the floor when I've done them. Uh, I have... Blood, The Last Vampire, the live action version. I do have the anime version as well, that is on DVD, so we'll get to that later. So yeah, Blood, The Last Vampire. I haven't watched the live action version yet, so I don't know if it's bad or if it's good. I shall find that out at some point. Uh, we have Season 1 of Blue Exorcist. Very good anime, I do recommend it. I haven't seen Season 2 yet, either online or just through looking for it on in dvd or blu-rays uh so this is the blu-ray version yeah really good anime i recommend it uh we have the castle of cagliostro which is a uh studio ghibli movie one of the earliest if not the earliest anyway it's one it's one of the early ones very good pretty damn funny i like it i've only watched it a couple of times so i can't really remember everything about it but yeah it's it's funny. Go watch it. Uh, I have season one of Danganronpa. Uh, once again, I bought this just because it was cheap. I didn't really know anything about it, unless, um, apart from people dying. Um, so yeah, I just found it because it was cheap. So yeah, a lot of these I haven't actually watched yet. I've literally just bought them because they're cheap. So, and um, with my life how it is at the moment, I don't really have time to sit and watch anime. But I will be watch. I will have watched all of these eventually. So yeah. Anyway, season one of Danganronpa. We have Dramatical Murder. This has the Blu-ray and the DVD in it, so I can watch it anywhere. Uh, the dub for this, the dub is absolute crap. Please, please, if you're gonna watch Dramatical Murder, please watch the sub. The dub is just the worst. The main character. Oh, but he just sounds like he can't be asked doing anything. But no, it's a good series. 
It has yaoi moments in it. The OVA is basically just all yaoi. Yeah. We also have Eden of the East, I believe this is all of it. So we have Paradise Lost, which is the first film. And then we have The King of Eden, which is the second film. And then the, uh, the anime series. Uh, this is one that I haven't watched yet, uh, and I don't really know anything about it. So, yeah, I'm, I'm quite looking forward to watching this though. So I will watch it eventually. Uh, we have Evangelion 1.11, you, you Are Not Alone. The first of the anime Evangelion movies. I love these movies. I have not seen the original anime series, so I have not seen the TV series of it. But uh, I know it will be good. And then the films. I love the films. I don't own the third one yet. I'm waiting for that to come down in price. Speaking of that, we have the second one, 2.22, You Cannot Advance. So yeah, that's the second one. Uh, we have Fate Zero, part one and two. This is one of my top ten, no, not top ten. Oh, yeah, top ten. This is in one, this is one of my top five favourite anime. I own four of my top five, just because one of them hasn't actually got a UK release. So yeah, so that's Fate Zero. Where's my husbando? There's there's my Fate Zero husbando. Kuritsugu, best boy. Uh, then we have Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood, the OVAs. Now, I do have the full series, but that's in DVDs, so we'll get to that eventually. Yeah, so the OVAs. Here we have Gangster. Gangster is another one of my top five. Yeah, Gangster is the only one that's in my top five that I don't own is Death Parade. It's got an American release, but it hasn't got a UK release, so I don't think um, UK distributors have gotten a license for it. But yeah, so Gangster, another one in my top five. This is actually number two. Uh, we have Gurren Lagann. This is the series, not the films. This is my boyfriend's all-time favourite anime. So, and I found that in CEX for cheap. I had, yeah, I kind of had to get it. Didn't really fully like it slash understand it my first time round, but upon watching it a second time, yeah, and yeah, it it's grown on me. Then we have Laputa, yeah, Laputa Castle in the Sky, another Studio Ghibli film. This is a pretty good one. Is this one with the robots? Yes, this is the one with the weird ass robot thing. But this is a pretty good one. Uh, we have Love, Chinibia and Other Delusions. This is season one. This is another anime I have yet to watch. I just bought it because it was cheap and I wanted more anime. Here we have Origin Spirits of the Past. Once again, another one I have yet to watch. Well, then we have all of Psychopath. So we have Season 1, Season 2, Collector's Edition, and the movie, the Collector's Edition. Psychopath is my all time favourite anime. It is my number one of my top 5, top 10, top 20, top 100, top whatever. Psychopath will always be my number one. And my husband is in it. Uh, I also have this extra Blu-ray, which is Dive Into Psychopaths. This, I believe, came with the the video game, the Psych Psychopaths Mandatory Happiness. But this came with the Japanese Collector's Edition. Because our Collector's Edition, in terms of discs and stuff, came with, came with the soundtrack. And, um, sorry, cracking my wrist. Yeah. So this came with the Japanese version. So, the entire box is in Japanese and there are no subtitles at all so when I watched it I couldn't understand what was being said but I got the gist of what it was it's basically just a profile of the characters so we have Akane, Gino, Mika, Togane, uh, Kamui and Kogami yeah. they basically it's basically just character profiles as 
something to watch rather than something to read. Uh, we also have Shigurui Death Frenzy, another one I have yet to watch, but it promises gore. So it's an 18 because it contains strong sexual violence and strong bloody violence. It promises me, it's, it's, it's suggesting to me blood and gore. So yeah, I'm liking that. I'm liking the sound of that. And the last Blu-ray is another Studio Ghibli of The Wind Rises. Now this isn't really one of those that's all fantasy, magical creatures. This is bit, This is more just like, I guess you could say like a slice of life sort of thing. You know, this guy during World War One or Two. There's some in there. It's during one of the world wars. I think it's World War Two. Yeah, and basically this guy's designing planes for the war. He's saying the earthquake of 1923, which is obviously after World War One. So yeah, I'm thinking this is World War Two. So that's all my Blu-rays. They are now in a nice pile, right here. As you can see, I'm not bending down as much now, so I can actually kindly reach the top of the pile of Blu-rays now. So I'm just going to move those over so I can squeeze the DVDs in. So now, <laughs> this is where the fun begins. All these piles of DVDs, and I have to remember which way around the piles are going to be up in alphabetical order. We'll, we'll start at the beginning. It's easy. The beginning is here. Uh, so we start off with A Letter to Momo, which is a film, a really nice film. I've only watched it once when it was on TV. Was it on TV? Yeah, it was on TV and I watched it and it was nice. So because I'd already seen it, I knew that it was a good one. So it was worth getting and so it was worth buying. Next one is another film. We have A Silent Voice, which I think came out in conjunction with your name or at least when people were talking about your name they were talking about this as well so I don't know if it came out at the same time or if it came out just before or just after but yeah unfortunately this was losing out to your name but this is still a really good film basically uh, deaf girl was it a girl? yeah um, deaf girl boy who was a bully and they basically just end up becoming it's basically just learning to live with your disability uh, we have another which is a series this is really good I guess it's you could say it's basically Final Destination the anime with added spooks just because people die in really weird and random ways You've probably seen clips of this with the girl with the umbrella and the teacher stabbing himself in the neck. The, that, those two scenes are from this. We have season one of Attack on Titan, part one and two. Obviously, you gotta have a, you gotta have that Attack on Titan. You gotta have those Titans in your collection. Also, you gotta keep getting those Titans in your collection with season two. bit disappointed that we waited years and years for season two and they gave us 12 episodes I mean, don't go wrong it was a very good 12 episodes but if you're gonna make us wait years for it give us more than 12 episodes uh, moving on to the bees we have Bayonetta Bloody Fate which is a film I have not played the Bayonetta games I have the first one on the Xbox 360 but I have not played it yet so I don't know how this goes like how the story of the film fits in with the video games but it's pretty good uh, next up we have Biohunter this is another film I am in the process of watching this now I say in the process of because when I first put it in it was quite late at night so I fell asleep yeah, I fell asleep in it woke up more towards the end so I just turned it off and called it at night uh, but I'll, so I'll watch it again uh, from while I was watching it, it was a bit meh. Yeah, it, it wasn't the best, wasn't the worst, but wasn't the best either. But I won. We have uh, the next one is another series, uh, Black Blood Brothers. I've only watched this once, so I can't remember it fully. 
but it's basically Helsing with more comedy and more lightheartedness because I meant come on that pretty much looks like an alucard ripoff foot with a sword instead of a gun uh, next we have Black Butler season one another one that you kind of need to have in your collection if you like anime and like the the, the handsome anime men so we have season one of Black Butler we also have season two of Black Butler I really like season two lots of people are giving season two a lot of shit because it's not canon to the manga. None, none of season two happens in the manga. In fact, even half of season half of season one doesn't happen in the manga. So who cares if season two doesn't happen? Season two has Claude in it as well as Sebastian. So shush. Uh, we also have season three. So Black Butler Book of Circus. This is a very recent purchase because it's taken me forever to find it on DVD. I found it more places on Blu-ray than DVD, but because I had season 1 and 2 on DVD, I want to get season 3 on DVD as well. Because if I got season 3 on Blu-ray, then it'd be like, ah, oh, now I'm going to get season 1 and 2 on Blu-ray as well. See, I just wanted to be consistent. We also have the live-action Black Butler film. Um, to me, this is one of the better live-action anime films out there. Because it... You know, it takes the story of Black Butler, makes its own thing. So this isn't this isn't a court going by the manga or by the anime. This is its own thing. And CL is now a girl because it's a completely different character. Like I said, this is not going off the anime or the manga. This is its own thing. Sebastian is still Sebastian, but everything else is different. So I'd say... It's a pretty good live action. Uh, we have Blackjack. I've watched this once and I cannot remember much about it. I need to watch it again. <laughs> yeah. Blackjack. A surgeon with the hands of God. Uh, we have Black Lagoon. The series. This is a series. And this is awesome. Um, if I had a waifu, if I had an anime waifu, it would be her, it would be Revy, because she's a badass, she loves guns, and, well, she's a girl, and you don't. We need more badass anime girls like this. I apologise for the creaking. My bed is awful. Now, the anime version of Blood the Last Vampire it has its good moments, but overall it's very, very meh. And we have Blood Sea, the series. That's pretty cool. I wrote the story is kind of meh, but I mean, it's 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 pure gore fest. If you like gory anime, this is the anime for you. Uh, Blood Sea The Last Dark. So this is the movie sequel to the TV series. And The Boy and the Beast. I love this movie. Three guesses why. Furries. But no, overall it is actually, it's, it's, it's a really good story. Yeah, it's, it's a good film. But I think it w it was more the fact that, come on, furries, and it takes place in like the land of the furries <laughs> that sort of first drew me to it. Onto the seas now, which are here. Well, I only have two seas. <laughs> we have Cowboy Bebop, an old classic. If you haven't seen it, what is wrong with you? Then we have the Cowboy Bebop movie. I actually need to buy another copy of this because the one I bought, which is this one, I bought it second hand and it has a big scratch on it and when it hits that scratch, whatever I watch it on does not like it. But good film. Under the D's. We have Death Note, another one where it's just like you can't really call yourself an anime fan if you haven't watched Death Note. Death Note is awesome. I also have the anime film, so Death Note really... Death Note Relight Visions of a God, part one. And Death Note Relight 2 L Successors. So this it basically is a skim down of the first half of the anime up to L dying. And then this is like the second half with Nier, is it? Is it Nier? The N? 
Yeah, Nia. Nia. I temporarily forgot because I don't like Nia. Nia is a, Nia is a little kid. Uh, we also have the, the... Go away. Let's have the live actions. So we have Death Note 1. Death Note 2. And Death Note L Change the World. I haven't watched any of these, so I don't know what they're like. But I've heard that they're actually pretty good for live action. Uh, Devil May Cry. I started watching this with my boyfriend and then we stopped. But then I found it for like three quid at CEX, so I bought it. Once again, haven't really played the games. And I have Devil is a Part-Timer, which is a, which is a really good. I, I definitely recommend this one. Uh, we have Dinosaur King Volumes 1 and 2. This is literally all that was released of Dinosaur King. A bit disappointing because it's one of my, it was one of my favourite shows as a kid. And for a kid's show, it's still one of my favourites. I love Dinosaur King. So that was D. I don't have any E's. We got the F's. We have Fate Stay Night. I bought this before Fate Zero. But I watched Fate Zero first. Kuritsugu is still in this, in like flashbacks, so I'm happy. Uh, Former Alchemist Brotherhood, another one that you kind of have to watch to be an anime fan. But, I mean, it's like 64 episodes, so please do not marathon it like I did. It took me like two days to marathon it all, and ugh, my brain was dead by the time I finished. A Gangster, I know I had it on Blu-ray. But I wanted it on DVD as well, just so I can now watch it wherever and whenever. Because for me to watch Blu-rays, I have to wait till my parents go out, go out, so I'm home alone. Because the DV, the Blu-ray player, the Xbox One, they're both downstairs. I only have an Xbox 360 in my room, and that's DVDs only. So yeah, gangster. Uh, here we have Ghost Hunt. Uh, I can't remember. This is basically ghost stories. Ghost stories was the comedy. Well, but this is basically like ghost stories done right. We have A Girl Who Leapt Through Time, another film. Really good. I love the films done by this guy. I can't remember who directed them. I can't remember who directed these. Oh. Anyway, we have Ghost in the Shell, the anime film. And we have Ghost in the Shell 2, Innocence. And we also have Ghost in the Shell Standalone Compass, its first gig. So this is like season one of the TV show. And we have the live action one with Scarlett Johansson. Or jo is it Johansson? Johansson? Oh well, that one. It's got her in it. I kind of liked it. Um, the gap between me watching the original anime and this um, the gap was pretty big, so I actually had forgotten most of it, so I couldn't really say how well of an adaptation it is. But I liked it, the visuals are very nice. Now on to the H's. We have Helsing, the original series, volumes 1 to 4. Not as good as Helsing Ultimate, but still pretty good. Speaking of Helsing Ultimate... We have volumes 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 to 8. If you want a gore fest with a bit of comedy in there and one of the best abridged series going, definitely watch Helsing Ultimate. Uh, we have season 1 and 2 of Italia. I have yet to watch these. I just remember watching the first couple of episodes with a friend down at uni and I was just like, the fuck is happening in this? And then I did, it's, yeah, I found them cheap, so I bought them. And then we have High School of the Dead, also known as Zombies and Tits. I can recommend it. Uh, we have Howl's Moving Castle, another Ghibli. This is the Japanese release though, so literally everything on the box is in Japanese. 
But the, the DVD itself has English subtitles, so I don't need to get the Western release of it. I believe this was like 50p in a charity shop. And it's still in like brand new condition. Uh, we have... next one up is Ichi the Killer. This includes the live action and the anime. Um, I'm pretty sure the live action actually came first. So the anime is an adaptation of the live action rather than the live action being an adaptation of the anime. If you don't like seeing animals dying, I, like me, I do not recommend you seeing this. I did not know animals died in this before I bought it. I just know, knew that it was horror and gory, so I wanted to buy it. But yeah, animals die in pretty brutal ways. So, watch at your own risk. Uh, where am I going next? This one. So up next is Neon Genesis Evangelion Death and Rebirth. This is one of the anime films to go with the original series. I have yet to watch it. Notice we have season one of Noragami. So this is just plain old Noragami. Love it. Definitely recommend you watching this one. If you like comedies. Uh, I'll run High School Host Club. Uh, I haven't watched this myself yet. I've seen like the first couple of episodes. That's it. But I liked what I saw of those first couple of episodes. Uh, Paranoia Agent. No, I definitely haven't watched this one yet. Uh, I've seen clips, and that's about it. I don't even know if I've seen clips. I've just heard that it's a pretty good one, and one that can, like, mess with you. I don't like anime. I like psychological anime. Uh, we have Pokemon Destiny Deoxys, the movie. Haven't really watched, haven't watched this yet. I haven't really watched any Pokemon films at all. Um... I liked Pokemon when I was little, but I didn't collect the cards or anything, I literally just watched the show. Then we have the Pokemon I Choose You movie. Uh, once again, haven't watched this yet. This also, this box also includes the original movie, so Pokemon the first movie. Which I haven't watched either. Shush. Uh, we have Ponyo up next. I believe this is the first Studio Ghibli I watched and I loved it. It made me fall in love with Ghibli's. Not my favourite one, but it's the first one I watched. We have Princess Mononoke. I mean, it's it's all about a girl that was raised by wolves, so why wouldn't I like enemy white wolves as well? So it's like, it's me. Then we have Psychopaths on DVD, Season 1, Season 2, the movie. I got the DVDs before I got the Blu-rays, apart from the film. I actually got the movie on Blu-ray before I got the DVD. But I wanted to be a completionist with my favourite anime of all time. Uh, up next we have School Rumble. This is only volume 3. I don't have any of the others. This was like 25p at the charity shop that I volunteer at. So I got it. It was actually going in the bin. I don't know why they were throwing it in the bin. But they were going to throw this in the bin. So I saved it and said stick a price on it I'll have it because it's anime uh, we have Seal Station it's not a Japanese anime it is Korean yeah it's a uh, it's a Korean anime and it's the story is good but the animation is just bad because it's CG so it's like 3D CGI animation it's bad it's just so bad. Then to go with it, Train to Busan, the live action, the the live action film. This is the only zombie film I have watched that has managed to make me cry. It's the only one that's given me the feels. It's very good. I recommend you watch it. Uh, we have next up. We have Sherlock Hound. I meant, come on. More furries. This is why I bought this one. Well, it's another one that I haven't actually watched. But yeah, it's anime, it's furries, and it's Sherlock. So, yeah. Uh, up next we have Shiki. This is another one in my top five. 
all about those vampires. And they're actually pretty good vampires. You know, they're not twilight vampires where they sparkle. They're like, these are like proper vampires that burn up in the sun. Yeah. I definitely, I could definitely highly recommend Shiki. If you want a proper anime. With a proper vampire anime. Uh, up next is Sky Blue. I haven't watched this. I don't know anything about it. But it was a pound in CEX. So I bought it. And it's a collector's edition. So that made me want it even more. Uh, up next is Soul Eater. Another one that I haven't actually watched yet. But I've just heard lots and lots of good things about it. It's 51 episodes. So I'm not marathoning it. Uh, another film, a Studio Ghibli film actually, is Spirited Away. This is my favourite Studio Ghibli film. And I believe it's actually most people's favourite as well. And for good reason. It is a very good... It's an awesome film. I mean, it, it's got no face in it. And no face is cute. Apart from when it goes creepy at one point. Uh, next we have another one. This... Well, not another Studio Ghibli, but another one of my favourites. This is not in my top 5, but it's in, but it'd be in my top 10. And it is Stein's Gate. I love this series. I've only watched it once, and I am currently going through Stein's Gate 0, which is season 2. And yeah, I just I love this. But if you watch this, make sure you actually sit and watch it. Because if you so much as sneeze and miss 5 seconds of anime through that sneeze, you have lost the entire plot. It can get confusing as hell, but it is such a good series. Not to mention it's got loads of references for days. It, it basically references the anime. Uh, another anime film, Summer Wars. Uh, I think this is one of my favourite non-Ghibli anime movies. Well, actually, I don't think I know this is one of my favourite non-Ghibli anime movies. This is probably my number two. For non Ghibli anime movies, yeah, it's it's really good. Plus, come on, it has a rabbit in it. It's got furries in it. Go down there. Uh, next up, we have Supernatural, the anime series. Um, this is a trim down of season one and two of the live action and um, Supernatural. Um, it has Jared, I can't pronounce his last name, is it Jared Padalecki, I think. Um, he actually does the voice of Sam in the anime. Um, Jensen Ackles does the voice of Dean, but only in the last two episodes, in the finale. Uh, but the person who does voice Dean, good. Yeah, I, I definitely, I can definitely recommend this. But only if you're like a supernatural fan. If you're not, then you probably won't really understand it. Coming down to the last few now, we just got this one and this pile left. Uh, we so up next we have Toko or Toko. I don't know. Um, I've only watched this all the way through once, so I can't remember much of it. But I just remember it's demons. I mean, like, demons with boobs apparently. Yeah, fighting demons. Uh, Tokyo Ghoul, season one. I mean, this is kind of another one where it was all the rage when it first came out. Uh, season three, so Tokyo Ghoul, well, season three of Tokyo Ghoul overall, but it's season one of Tokyo Ghoul RE, has just recently finished, and season two is coming about in October. So, Tokyo Ghoul is still a thing. Uh, I also have Tokyo Ghoul Route A, which is Season 2. Uh, let's not actually talk about Season 2, because it's kind of bad. I mean, the action scenes and the animation is amazing, but it's just bad. I like Toka. Yeah, purple hair chick. She spends three episodes running to Kaneki, and then Kaneki spends like 10 minutes of a 20 minute episode carrying a dead body so it's just like why but all i need to say is let's go home 
Let's see how many people have triggered by saying that. Uh, Onyx is Trigon. An old classic, like the original Helsing. I love this show. It's pretty long. But I still recommend it. I love it. Don't know how many episodes it has. How many episodes does it have? It's long, but it's not ridiculously long. 26 episodes. So yeah, it's, it's a long series, but it's not ridiculously long. So yeah, I can definitely recommend Trigon. Vash is awesome. He looks like a badass on that cover, right? We'll wait till you see the cover of Trigon Badlands Rumble, the movie. Look at that big goofy grin. Look at him on the back. He's a goof. And I love him for it. I also love Nick and Warwick from Gangster because of that. They're just they're badass when they need to be, but most of the time they are just goofballs. Okay, on to the last pile. This is a long video. Uh, we have Vampire Hunter D. This is another one I have yet to watch, but it's vampires, so I'm gonna like it. Then we have Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust, the, the second one. Once again, I haven't watched it yet. Then we have Vampire Night, which is basically Twilight, the anime. But it's still better than Twilight because it's an anime. And the vampires are actually good looking. Then we have Vampire Night Guilty, which is season 2. I actually bought this one first. Because I didn't really know anything about it. I just knew, I just saw vampires and it was just like, ooh. But yeah, I actually bought this before season one. And then when I started watching it, I just got the feeling of, I should probably know these characters already. So I googled it and it's just like, ah, oh, it's the season two. So I quickly turned it off and then I bought season one when I found it. Uh, next we have Vampire Wars. You... You, you know, you're noticing a theme with the V anime. They're all vampire anime. Uh, I can't really remember much about this. I bought this ages ago. I watched it ages ago. And I can't remember anything about it. Other than it's vampires. So yeah. This just shows you how well good my memory is. My memory is crap. Uh, oh, nice is the last three are actually films. So next is another Ghibli. We have When Marnie Was There. Is it Marnie? Yeah, When Marnie Was There. Um, I haven't actually watched this one yet. But I bought this like from a supermarket. I think I bought this from Sainsbury's. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was Sainsbury's. Uh, next we have Wolf Children. Now this, for obvious reasons, is my all-time favorite non-Ghibli anime movie. It's adorable. It's, I mean, aside from the fact people can turn into wolves, it's a realistic take on life. And furries. I mean, literally. Anthropomorphic wolf husband. Furries. <laughs> And then kids can turn into wolves. So that's basically the power that every single fairy on the planet probably wishes they could have. That they could just transform into their fursona or one of their OCs whenever. And I would like to transform into snow every now and then. And I wouldn't mind transforming into some of my OCs either. The last one. The last anime DVD. Is... Your name, Kimi no Nawa. Um, it is, uh, oh, Makoto Shinkai. See so, yeah, ya. There's the director's name, Makoto Shinkai. I like his films. In fact, I love his films. He did... He did Wolf Children as well. No, he didn't. No, I'm lying. He's on his own. Um, Mamo, Mamo, Mamoru Hosoda. He's the one that he's. That's the person that did Wolf Children, and Summer Wars, uh, Boy and the Beast, uh, Girl Who Looked Through Time, 
Digimon movie. He did all of those. And I love his work. Here. Yeah. I love his work. Or her work. I think it's him. His work. Yeah, Makoto Shingai did your name. Um, and I love this film. This is a good one. Um, it's a feels fest in parts, but the animation on it. Oh my god, the animation is just beautiful. Even if you don't like the story, or if you don't like this sort of slice of life fantasy sort of anime, just watch it for the animation. It is gorgeous. So yeah, that's it. I'm saying it now because I didn't say it at the beginning of the video. I apologize for no toy review this year, this week. Um, I was busy on the Tuesday, so I couldn't film it. Tuesday is usually my filming day for toy reviews, and then I'll upload on the Wednesday. But yeah, I was busy Tuesday, and I can't film Wednesdays because I work. Because I literally film Tuesday because I'm home alone. Then I'll come home from work on Wednesday, charge my phone up for a bit, and then upload on the Wednesday. So yeah, so that's why no toy review this week. But I am giving you this video. I'm giving you yeah, I'm giving you this video. You're getting a first swimming video instead on a Friday. This, yes, today is Friday. So anyway, thank you guys very much for watching this. And wow, this video is like going to be 42 minutes long. Um, congratulations, pat on the back, round of applause. Um, for if you manage to watch, well not manage to, I mean it's easy to, but if you actually stayed the full length of this video. I thank you for that. It took me a while to get all these out to make this video because most of them are on the shelf but some of them were a bit scattered because there's no room. I need to have a clear out of my DVDs so I can fit more on the shelf. Yes! Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you all in the next video. Whatever that'll be. Hopefully it will be a toy review next week. And I know exactly what I'm going to be doing my video on. I know exactly what I'm going to be reviewing. So anyway, bye bye.